Hi, welcome to this video in which I explore the world of manga, or at least a little part of it. Here's the deal. I'm depressed. I'm not doing so well. I'm trying to cope. And I know lots of people, including my friends, cope through manga, reading manga at that. So I am jumping on that train. I also get a lot of manga recommendations, whether I ask for them, whether they're just straight up given to me, and I've been writing them down. And I think my time has come to read them. So this is going to be a fluid video. I think I have sort of an idea of what I want to read, but I also don't know what I like in manga so far. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm not entirely sure how to review manga yet. Like if me just reviewing it like a normal book is going to be absolute trash. So stick with me. I actually did get started on this video yesterday where I finished two manga, each with three volumes. So I'm just going to review them, I guess. The first one I read was Your Name by Makoto Shinkai. Shinkai, I'm so sorry. I'll get better, I promise. Or I'll ask for help, which is what I should probably do. This one actually had four volumes and it is my favorite manga I've ever read. The background of my manga reading goes, I've never finished a full one, so it's like no surprise that this is my favorite, but I've read a couple. I know what format I like and I know what tropes I like in like normal books and uh, I think they do overlap, but I guess we'll see on that. Um. Here is the plot. There's a young man and a young woman. The young man is named Taki. He is a guy living in Tokyo and he dreamed he was a girl living in the mountains. The girl Mitsua dreamed that she was a guy in Tokyo. Okay, so they're occasionally switching bodies and eventually it turns into a romance where they're kind of trying to find each other and it is fun to read about. Like really fun, it's cute. It fixes a lot of issues of the format which I've had while like trying to read manga and it just be exhausting with like a lot of lines going into the word bubbles if it's a thought like it's pretty pretty simply set up if it's dialogue it's a circle and if it's a thought it's a square and although that might seem like a very small thing it mattered a lot to me and my enjoyment of reading manga especially while I'm still getting used to the format. As far as the setting goes I love the setting in Takayama. I've been to Japan and actually my favorite place that we went was Takayama so it was cool to like kind of see that. I don't want to say represented, but like, I don't know, sure, represented, a little bit of fun memories coming back to me. There were some parts of this manga that I wish I could have just like skipped over because it seemed like they were just going back and forth, like yelling each other's names. I understood where it was good to the plot, but I think I want to say it was like episode eight, chapter eight, where I'm like, eh, let's just get along there. And then uh, the fucking ending. I don't know, they just end like this, like no spoilers, but it does kind of end differently than a lot of books I read or almost all the books I read. I wonder if that's a trope we're gonna continue seeing and overall I was on the verge of tears I didn't cry but excellent excellent content five stars for me okay then here's what happened I told Jack I really really enjoyed your name and he goes there's another one by the same author so then I read weathering with you also by Makoto Shinkai this one actually had three volumes. Here's what happens. Hodaka is a guy. He is a young runaway. He moved to the city, got a job, and it rains all the time in Tokyo. That's kind of like the background setting. He meets Hina, and she is the sunshine girl. Basically, when she wants the sunshine to come out, it does come out. There is a lot more going on there, but you kind of find that out later on. Together, they make the sun out. They make money. It's fun as hell. There's kind of that storyline of Hodaka like liking Hina but he never finds the right time to tell her so there's a little bit of that like young romance that I thought was fun there's some internal conflict some external conflict it is a romance so there's interest there and when I say there's some interest there I definitely mean some interest like I think the background can be a little boring or simple but I've always been a human that is a big fan of those things because it's comforting it was really comforting to read so that's my final describing word on weathering with you it's just comfortable in a way that it's exactly what I needed um overall it was a little boring but sweet and emotional and 
I dig it. Okay, then I got started on Chainsaw Man and I will update you once I'm finished with it, but so far I'm enjoying it. All right, Chainsaw Man. So it has been a moment since I began Chainsaw Man just because I got distracted with other books and other things, but I've been reading it slowly but surely and I really, really liked it. All right, so I'll summarize where we start off. Basically, this story is about Denji. Denji is like this goofy guy who is really poor and all he wants is like to touch some women's boobs. That's at least how he starts out and he quickly becomes half human and half devil and he becomes chainsaw man so very very early on in the series the action starts with him hunting devils and then there's makima who comes in makima kind of takes denji out of his impoverished life and gives him food and a job so there's a relationship between them i mentioned those two because they're pretty integral to the beginning of the story but there are a lot of other characters who are lovely and so much fun to read about even if they're not like lovely humans or lovely human devil mixes or devils or whatever classification again like anything that has 11 volumes there's gonna be a lot more there and also i'm kind of out of it because it's been a weird couple of days my head's not here i'm doing my best coping coping so this story is funny as shit from the horniness of brother denji who all he wants is to see boobs to like the enemy's names in the beginning and all that like it's just funny as shit and the action is excellent if i do say so myself good content by volume five i want to say I was fully engrossed and grossed. That's when I was really into the characters, really invested. And that's really special um, how invested I was in them. The character growth was out of control good. I think especially with Denji, by the end of the series, he was definitely like making different decisions and acting differently than he would have in the very beginning. And I thought that that was absolutely fascinating and also like really made it worth my time. I guess. Good good coping. Yeah, character growth slappy, action slappy, plot slappy, comedy slappy. I will absolutely take it. Sorry that that was like a short and pretty general review. Again, my mind isn't here right now. But yeah, that's the charm of this video. I think next up I'm gonna read a race. Generally Jack's recommendations have been really excellent and I've really enjoyed them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with what he's been telling me for now. Hello, I'm in Spain, which is why the scenery's changed and there's music and birds and probably landscaping noises, but that's okay, cause I finished a race and I really enjoyed it. I'm starting to discover that a manga is pretty hard to summarize because like, things change because it's kind of like a tv show or movie basically the gist of this story is satoru is like a 30 ish year old man he uh creates manga and one day uh some bad thing happens this thing that he calls the revival happens and basically he goes back in time and he keeps going back in time until he prevents this bad thing from happening. Satoru comes home one day to his dead mother, his mother laying on the floor murdered, and he wants to figure out how to stop this and he wishes upon the revival to send him back so he could stop it. He gets sent all the way back to 1988 when he is in elementary school and pulls off things to stop the murder of his mother and that's basically i guess how it starts um a lot of things happen a lot of characters grow and change and i was hooked so i think this manga is pretty emotional and there's a lot of different things to look into kind of like a fake it till you make it that is not in a good way pretending to feel indifferent until you feel nothing and like that's what some of the characters embody a lot of the characters embody a lot of different things in the beginning there's an abusive parent and some trigger warnings there um then the book, uh, the manga, again, really evolves with the volumes. There's some amnesia going on there, and it gets very action-y, very murder mystery -y. Above all, what I enjoyed about this manga is the little things. For example, I think the format was really what I look for. Like, it was definitely a lot of internal dialogue which i know i said i don't like but i think it was done well um and especially this story really really needed it there were a lot of little things like on the whiteboard it would say february 29th so like we know where we're at and stuff there were a lot of sound effects which were actually so much fun it was a little more hard to read because i don't 
read Japanese or speak Japanese, but like there were English translations and like you knew where you were based on the setting, not by someone saying like, oh, I went to school or like, hello, I'm at school now. Like it said on the school in the artwork school and then you have to read, I don't know, like it was harder to read, but I really like how the story was told and I thought that was impactful. Also the messages were impactful. I don't think I loved it as much as Chainsaw Man, but I also think it was so different. This manga took me a while to read. I definitely needed to take a break. And like, there's there's nine volumes, right? Um, the last volume is kind of epilogue-y. Um, volume eight was good and like finish up. Volume seven is like when I started to get sick of it. Sorry, I know I kind of went backwards there, but um, by volume seven, I'm like, okay, we can pick this up. We can end this, I guess, which, uh, I guess he couldn't really, but that's just like where I think I've kind of learning, I'm reaching my limit. I think I'm gonna leave it at that to keep it short. And also I don't really know how to review this book besides saying like, I, or this manga, I'm sorry, I keep calling the books. I don't really even know how to review this manga because there's just so much going on and there's things I liked and didn't like and it evolved so much. And I don't know like what's a spoiler and what's not, I guess. Um, And I think we, I'm gonna finish off this video here because I think we have, a good little mix and like I knew I was gonna like the romances the most I knew I was gonna like the short romances the most the really pretty things I think I might watch the anime for some of these which I, I don't think I'll make it through any of them because I'm really not a tv show person but I think that'll be really interesting and I think I got like a healthy range for only reading four of them and two of them being romances you know I enjoyed all of them and I think that's something to be said for people recommending me books that like know what tropes I enjoy and what I enjoy and like how I enjoy a lot of character growth and the that I don't enjoy like all the lines going into words I don't know like if you read manga you'll get it like that's hard for me to read I guess I did learn that I read manga really slowly but I think I have a better grasp on it and I'll definitely be reading more I don't know if I'll be making whole ass videos on it but it is like truly truly a lovely genre um for me it's harder to read than a novel which I don't feel like is the normal thinking on it but I think that's interesting and um yeah my biggest thing is just like listen to my friends um if you're one of those people who have been watching my videos and you think I would really enjoy a book like based on what I enjoy and not just because you loved a book um please let me know because that went great for me. Also, if you have a favorite book you really need me to read, um, I'll, I mean, I'll read those too. You know, I'm down for anything. Thanks a lot for watching this video and sorry I stumbled through a lot of it. I'm trying new things and I think that's important and good and I love bringing people along with me. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>